We already had a look at Arctic's P12 general purpose all rounder fan. Then we covered the P14, a upscale big boy version of the P12. After that, we saw how far Arctic could push that 120mm form factor with their Bionics P120, a colorful, steroid induced version of the P12 that could keep up with the P14. And now it's time to see what happens if you combine steroids and growth hormones to create this, the Arctic Bionics P140. This is supposed to be one of Arctic's best fan out there the Bionics P140. As usual with the Bionics lineup, there are a couple of colors you can choose from. This decision then decides what color of frame and rubber around the fan wing and screw holes will have. Just like with the smaller 120mm versions, the rubber used around the whole fan is supposed to eliminate any vibrations, though it still creates that fun little handbrake effect. The Bionics 140mm lineup consists of two fans, the F140 Airflow Optimized Air Blasters and the P14 Static Pressure Focused fan that we are looking at right now. Due to it being static pressure focused, we will find the same 5 heavily bent wings as we've seen on the P14 or P12. The fan comes in the usual Arctic Bionics box covering a couple of stats and some imagery. Inside we will find the fan, a set of fan screws and a little thank you note. According to the spec sheet, these Bionics P140s are able to spin at 1950 RPM while pushing around 77.6 CFM at 2.85 mm of H2O. And to put this into perspective, of course these numbers are a bit better than the smaller 120mm version, but at the same time these are also annihilating the similarly sized P14 PVM fans. So already a pretty good start. In terms of installation, Arctic reused their PVM PST system. This means that at the end of the 400mm long PVM cable, there will be a little female PVM header, allowing you to daisy chain the power signal to the next fan and so on. Just keep in mind that after like 5 or 6 fans, it might be time to switch the header on your motherboard. No, no need to burn that thing out. Okay, with that out of the way, let's see how they actually performed. While letting the fans spin at 100% of their 1950 RPM, these Bionics P140s managed to keep the 3700X at 47 degrees C above ambient, outperforming the P14 and Bionics P120s by 2 degrees C and placing the Bionics P140s just 3 degrees behind the Fantex T30 in performance mode. On the noise to performance end, Unfortunately, it does not look that good. Although it is able to outperform the Bionics F120, it does not manage to beat its smaller P120 counterpart in noise to performance. Sure, it can push way more, that's true, making the CPU cooler in the end, but with a lower target temperature, the P120 is always a bit ahead. This unfortunately kinda leads to a quite negative conclusion. Sure, on the whole spectrum, the Bionics P140s can brute force their way up the, to the upper third, no doubt there. But as soon as you compare it to every other Arctic fan out there with something like a specific noise expectation, you quickly realize that they are actually in the lower third. That being said, not everything is bad. The quality is still up to Arctic standard, considering that half of the Bionics fan is made out of rubber. The cable is more than long enough, daisy chainable, and it is nicely braided. The fan does come with a 10 year warranty, which is really nice. And I believe that having a fan with an actual color instead of the variation between black and gray with a couple of RGBs in there is something quite refreshing. Then, sure, max performance is alright for the fan, that is is really true, but noise to performance is just not keeping up. Very unfortunate, but that's the end result. So to buy or not to buy? Well, considering that the fan can be purchased right now for less than 11 bucks, it's, it's still a pretty freaking good deal. However, Arctic's Bionics P120s has a way better noise to performance ratio and you can get it for as cheap as 9 bucks. So no, um, as a standalone fan it does have an insane price to performance value, but not anymore if you look just at Arctic's fans. But okay, this then should be it for the Arctic Bionics P140s, but you may consider subscribing to not miss the next Arctic video because they've also sent over a set of Bionics F140s, and if you remember correctly the the F14 versus P14 comparison, there it came out that when it comes to 140mm fans, 
f might even be better than p. But we will see about that. Until then, have a look at our take on Octics P14 ARGB. No doubt, those are like the best fans out there. On a side note, we also now have a Discord server, so use the link in the description below and join us. Anyway, a big thank you to Arctic for providing us the fans, and you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it, and hopefully see you in the next one. Bye bye.